Yes, there have been many questions which are tricky. Many questions which may require logical answer, nothing to do with Islamic knowledge. And there are many. I'll just give one example to you. I don't say it's the most difficult, but it was uh, a tricky question. And I remember, I think it was in the year 2014 or somewhere close to that in Dubai. After my lecture in Dubai, there were about 15, 20,000 people in the audience. There's a lady who's a non-Muslim who asked me a question. And she said, now, Dr. Zakir, you often give the example of why a Muslim lady should do hijab. And you ask the question that if two twin sisters who are equally beautiful, one of, their, one of them is wearing the Islamic hijab, complete body covered, except the face and the hand up to the wrist. And the other twin sister, she's wearing the Western clothes with mini skirts and a low neck. And if both of them are walking down the streets of Dubai, and if there is a hooligan, if there is a ruffian who's waiting to tease a girl, which girl will it tease? And you ask this question. And yes, I have given this example and I have asked this question since the early 90s when I gave the talk of women rights in Islam the first time in 1993. Since this time I am asking a question. And I have asked this question in public forum that which girl will you tease? And always the answer has been but natural, the girl wearing the western clothes in mini skirt or low neck because she is attracting. And for, for 20 years the answer has been same. Now this lady comes up and she repeats the question but she says that according to me the girl wearing the Islamic hijab would be teached. I said why? She said because the man would like to know what is behind the clothes. That's why he will teach the girl wearing the Islamic hijab. And my daughter who was in the audience she said now Abba is trapped. My father is trapped. And I was taken aback that this was no answered. So what I say these type of these type of replies are mainly devilish replies to try and trap. But Alhamdulillah, in such situation, Allah is the one who always helps. I got up and I said, okay, sister has asked a very good question and I continued the question. And I said, though I disagree, so this was the question asked, now here my answer. I said, I disagree with your answer. It's an illogical answer. But if you agree that your answer is correct, then why are you wearing clothes? If you don't want people to be clothed, you should take off your clothes. And believe me, that woman was so embarrassed and that was a very good slap to her reply, to her question, which was a devilish question. She went back and she sat quietly. So these types of questions by non-Muslims who come to attack you, it has got nothing to do with Islam. My answer was logical. But what I told you, okay, I disagree with your answer, but if you agree with your answer, why are you wearing clothes? And she was wearing clothes. I said, why are you wearing clothes? And so, so these type of questions, the answer should be with hikmah. Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah. Wal mu'azit al hasna. Vajad milati asan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. So such type of questions are many. Inshallah, if you see my videos and see my question answer session, you will find many of such such questions.